In bold act of defense, Joel Austin rips up Bible. Wanna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. You know, double honest to the elders and the apostles of GMS. And salutations to you, brothers who are supposed to be shoot to the four corners and highways and byways. You know, and all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Brothers, keep pushing, keep your head up. Right? This is an article come across on, on the Babylon Bee. It says the bold in bold act of the def, of defiance, Joel Austin rips up Bible. It says here after sermon was completed in theatrical theatrical display of his attitude towards the scriptures. Austin stood up and solemnly ripped the Bible in half before tossing it on the ground. The Bible shreds my theology, so I shredded the Bible. Austin said, afterward, defending his action, I couldn't find out what I couldn't find one word. Of truth in this thing it talked about persecution trials tribulations poverty hardship and even the sin word is repulsive really some critics noted that Austin had pre ripped the Bible during his sermon so it would tear more easily. Still, it's a pretty thick book. So it took Austin tremendous effort to tear its uh, thousands of pages. He also spoke words of victory over the book as he ripped it in half. His hands were signed in the te in the attempt, but he was finally able to push through to finish the ceremony theory of the Bible. It was a courteous thing to do, considering the alternative he added omnius. Now let's get into the scriptures. It says here, Second Corinthians eleven. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Amashiach. And no marvel, for that. Salaki it says, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. Right? Because these men basically they want to build a hype. You know, and a triumph over the word of the Lord our God, right? Which true name is Yahweh and the son name is Yahweh Shai. This is Mark 7, reading from verse 7. It says, All right, let me read from verse 6. It says, He answered and said unto them, Well, hath Isaiah the prophet, well, hath Isaiah prophesied of of you hypocrites as it is written these people honor me with their lips but their hearts is far from from me right because we would find most of our people living to this man listening to this man right and according to the scriptures he, he fits the 
characteristics of a false prophet right it says verse 7 how be it in vain do they worship me teaching for doctrines commandments of men for laying aside the commandment of God ye hold the tradition of men as washing of pots and cups and many other such like and many other such like things ye do because this guy make a trend you know boldly ripping the bible and you understand which contains the truth the word of your Bashim Yoshai right so um so when people see this they would see the um he, he basically is trying to do is nullify the word of your Bashim Yoshai the word of God so his followers he got them in a snare right yeah, this is Jeremiah 23 Let me read from um Let me read from verse 25. It says, I have heard what the prophets said that prophesy lie in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I, I have a dream, I have dreamed, okay, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. 26. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophet that prophesy lies? Ye are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts which thing to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Babel right so just like um, how people is referring to the creator name as Jehovah or Jesus you know these names it's, it's like how they forgot it for Babel, right? It goes on to say, verse 28, The prophets that had a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, right? Let him speak my word faithfully. So, the, what basically Joel is doing is telling a dream, you know, a deceit of his own heart. The scripture says in Jeremiah 11, also, that the heart is desperately wicked, right? Who can know it? Let me get it quickly. I think it's 17 of verse 9. Yes, it says, yeah, Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. It says, The heart is death, deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Right? The most I know it. He says, I the Lord search the heart, I try the rain, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruits of his doing. Right? So you must know the fruits. And with the scripture, we will also get to the fruit. So that's in Shabbos, Jeremiah 23. You know, <clears throat> verse 28. It says, The prophet had a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. How you do so? By reading the word of your Haba, You know? It says, What is the chaff to the wheat? Said the Lord, Is it not my word like as fire? says the Lord and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces right because Joel Austin they, he find that this book start you know condemning him see so he, he tore the book right it says therefore behold I am against the prophet says the Lord that steal my word everyone from his neighbor you see so basically they, they forced it the, you know these Edomites these white so called white people they took our identity, they tried to steal the identity of the Mosai's people, right? So, they try stealing it, you know, the Edomites try stealing this word from um, Israel. Verse 31, it says, Behold, I am against the prophets, it says the Lord, that use their tongue and, and say, He said, it, right? <laughs> so, this is what he been doing. Behold, I am against them that 
prophesy false dreams, said the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lips and by their lightness. Yet I send them not, nor commanded them. These is these people, like um, they call them the so called motivational speakers. You yeah, gotta keep out from them. Right? It says, nor command them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, said the Lord. Right? Because there's no profit from these people. It's just fables. Right, let me get uh, the fruits. In, this is Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 it says beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolf ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of corn and figs of thistles right? it says even so every good tree bringeth forth good tree Fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth corrupt fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither shall a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth good bringeth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. This man fruit is telling that he is showing that he is a false prophet. You know the scripture says seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Right? You gotta seek ye out of the book of the Lord of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. You know, this is Joshua chapter 1 of verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart of your out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success right so you gotta you know the word of Yahweh Hashem is not nullified you have to seek ye out of it right seek ye out of the book of Yahweh Hashem these words are true you know these words are true this is a uh, second Timothy chapter 4 verse 4 verse 3 um, I'm gonna read first, yeah, verse 2. It says, Preach the word. Let me read from verse 1. It says, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord, Yahweh Shia Mashiach, you know, who shall judge the quick and the deaf at his appearing and his kingdom. Uh, and his kingdom right the quick and the deaf right the quick is the ones that being quickened by this word right i'm gonna prove that you know the word quicken you and the deaf is the ones that do don't want to hear the quick and the dead sorry the dead is the ones that wandered out of understanding reading and it says preach the word right the word not preach your thoughts or your dream preach the word be instant in season out of season reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and doctrine you understand? So you're supposed to have patience with the word of Yahweh Hashem and to continue to push it. It says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own loss shall they heap teachers, heap to the self teachers having itching ear, and they shall turn away their ear from the truth, which is a scripture, and shall be turned unto fail. You know? And what is the truth? Now this is um <clears throat> Matthew chapter
Yeah, this is um, John seventeen seventeen. It's like I was looking at Matthew. It says John seventeen seventeen. It says, "Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true." You know, thy word is true. The word of Yahweh Hashem Yerushai. Right. This is John chapter. Six of what sixty-eight. It says. Uh, yeah, John chapter 6 and verse 63 It says It is the spirit that quickeneth The flesh profiteth nothing The words that I speak unto you They are spirit and they are life So the words of the most high is what quicken us Right? So like it says in a Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 It says that the, in return He will judge the quicken And the dead you understand? So this word is what quicken you. Okay, so now this is Proverbs chapter 16, 16 and 21. Uh, it's 21 over 16. It says the man that wandered out of the way of understanding. Right? The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right, so you know, when the total of the way of understanding this, the most high words, right? Let me just get one more. You know, this is Isaiah chapter 8, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. It says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, right? There is no light in them, and that's how we get understanding to speak according to the word. Right, like Psalms one nineteen. Through thy precept, and verse one or four, right? It says, "Through thy precept, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way." Right, so we get the understanding from the word of the Mosai. You understand? We keep that word. I right, want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, Bashem Yoshai, you know, double and seal is the apostle of GMS, and citation to you brothers, you know, Shalom, keep pushing. Until next time.